Alright, what is up you guys and welcome back to the Progressive Skills in English Level 2 course book. In this video we're going to be going over the reading section for theme 5. So let's hop right in. Here we have reviewing vocabulary, uh, find pairs of words in the box below and explain the connection. Okay, so we're going to have to find pairs of words and we're going to have to give an explanation to the connection between the pair of words. Okay, for example, here we have apple and orange. We could say they're both kinds of fruit. So this will be up to you, but I'll give you some examples right now. So let's say, for example, here we have protein and uh, yeah, we have carbohydrates as well. So we'll say the connection is that they are both nutrients. Okay, let's take one more. Uh, can you guys see here? Okay, so we have vegetables and we have, I think, fruits as well. Yep. So we'll say that vegetables and fruits, the connection is that they are both kinds of food, right? Uh, what else? We have hungry and I think, what do we have with hungry? Thirsty. Okay, so we'll say that the connection between hungry and thirsty is that they both mean to want food and drink. Okay. Um, we could say here we have carrot and we have tomato so we'll say that they are both vegetables okay so carrot and tomato the connection is that they're both vegetables here we have milk uh, I'm not gonna use bowl I'll use bottle so milk and bottle we'll say that the connection here this is my take on it is that you can get milk in a bottle here we have bowl. Um, do we have? Yes, we do. Okay, so we do have cereal. Cereal and bowl. So we'll say the connection is that you can put cereal in a bowl, right? Um, what else do we have? We have spoonful and. Oh, we do have sugar right here. So spoonful and sugar. We'll say that you use or you put spoonfuls of sugar in tea or coffee or other hot beverages okay here we have also we also have potatoes and rice we'll say they are both carbohydrates right the kind of nutrient that um, was in the beginning with protein okay and then we have uh, what else do we have we have more and less oh okay We'll say that the connection here is that they are both opposites, right? More is more and less is obviously less. Okay? Now let's go to exercise B, understanding new vocabulary. Study each word or phrase below and find an opposite word or phrase in the box. All right, so I'm going to read all of them and then we'll see. Uh, we'll we'll uh, find the opposites. Okay? Here we have one, lose, as in lose weight, to use increase, eat, healthy food, as in healthy as in food, slow down, problem, fresh, carry on, drink, frozen, hungry, junk, preserve, put on, recipe, reduce, solution, speed up, start, starve, store, and thirsty. Okay? Now let's take a look here. Here we have study each word. Okay, so one, we have lose, as in lose weight. So what is the opposite of losing weight? You guys know? Well, it's actually called put on. Okay, so put on right here. We'll say, uh, yeah, I'm going to say put on. Okay, put on means to put on weight. So lose, as in lose weight, and put on, as in to put on fat or weight. Two, use. Okay, use. Um, Hold on a minute. Study. Find an opposite. Okay. To use means I'm going to use something. So uh, to find an opposite, I'll probably say store. And store here does not mean supermarket. Okay. Store here means uh, store as in to keep something for now. Okay. Store food in the refrigerator, for example. Okay. Three. Uh, increase. Um, okay. Let's take a look. Increase. Uh, I'll say reduce, okay? Increase, add more. Reduce, obviously, to not add more, but to lower. So increase, opposite will be reduce. Four, 
uh, eat. Okay, so the opposite of eat is obviously going to be starve. Okay, eat means to eat, and starve means to not eat. Sorry about that, uh, starve. Five, healthy, as in healthy food. Um, yes, right here, junk. So we'll say junk, obviously, meaning junk food. Okay, so I'll, I'll actually write it here soon. Okay, junk food, healthy food. Six, slow down. I think this one's pretty simple, you guys. Speed up. This one, pretty simple. Speed up. Seven, problem. Uh, for problem, we have solution. Okay, a problem is obviously a problem. And solution is basically the solution to the problem, how you fix the problem. That is called solution. Okay, so solution. Eight, fresh. Uh, something is either fresh, if we're talking about food, or it's, uh, where is it? I just saw it right here, frozen, okay? Frozen or fresh food, okay? So that was exercise B. Now let's move on. We have exercise C, understanding new vocabulary and context. So read the sentences below. What do the words in italics mean in each case? Words in italics, the ones that look different right here, okay? So let's read one. You should chew your food many times before you swallow it. Okay. We'll say chew here means, obviously, by the way, this is going to be up to you how you explain things. So I'm giving you my take on it. Chew here means basically using your teeth to, I don't know, break up food. Okay. And what else do we have? We have swallow. So many times before you swallow it. So we'll say swallow simply means to send food to your stomach. Okay? Two, you can buy yogurt in a low-fat form. Uh, what is the word? The word is low-fat. Okay. Low-fat will say this means, you know, a form of a product with reduced fat content. Okay? Oops, sorry about that. Three, uh, do you like plain peanuts or ones with salt on them? Okay, so the word peanuts, what does it mean? Uh, peanuts is actually, I think there's a picture here. Yep, yeah, this, these are peanuts. Okay, you guys, these are peanuts. Pretty self-explanatory. A type of nuts called peanuts. Four, can you give me the recipe for this cake? It's delicious. Okay, recipe, I'm actually going to give you an idea. This is a recipe. What a recipe is, a recipe is basically instructions for making a particular food product. So, you know, recipe for making a cake or uh, soft rice, for example, okay? A different meal. So that is what a recipe is. I'll just go to five. You should keep cold meat in the fridge. If you don't, it may go bad, okay? The word fridge, okay? What does fridge mean? I think this one's pretty simple. This is a fridge, you guys. Okay? The upper part of your refrigerator. All right. Uh, what else do we have? Six, I bought a bar of chocolate, but I only ate one piece. Okay, a bar of chocolate. We know what chocolate is, but what is a bar? Okay, a bar is not the place that you go to to drink. Okay, a bar here simply means this. Okay, this is a whole bar of chocolate, and this is a piece of it, okay? So this is a bar of chocolate, okay? Now let's go to exercise D, using new vocabulary. Actually, I can open this. Uh, complete each sentence with a word or phrase from this lesson. Make any necessary changes. Okay, so we're going to write our own and see if we need to make any necessary adjustments along the way. So one, uh, the car slowed down. Then it dash again. Hmm. I can say, you know, sl slowed down. So the opposite of that will be speed up again. But, but listen, I'm going to have to add an ED here, okay? Because it's in the past. The car slowed down. Then it speeded up again, okay? Let's go to two. Uh, give me a second. Yeah. Two, you should try to dash your intake of fatty foods. We'll use the word reduce. Remember, the opposite of increase, reduce, lower. Okay? You should try to reduce your intake of fatty foods. By the way, the reason I'm using reduce and not 
something like uh, minimize, for example, is because I'm trying to use words that are in the lesson, okay? You shouldn't eat so many burgers and chips. All that dash is not good for you. We'll say all that uh, junk food is not good for you. Remember when we talked about junk food? The opposite of healthy food. For some people dash themselves. They hardly eat anything. Okay, we'll say some people starve, the opposite of eat, remember, not to eat at all, that is starve. So some people starve themselves, they hardly eat anything. Five, the human body dash energy in the form of fat. Uh, we'll say that the human body stores, okay, what is the opposite of store? To use, okay, so when the body has excess um, energy, it converts it into fat. To store it okay so it stores it just like you store uh, meat in the fridge for example six you don't have to turn off the television uh, you can dash watching it we can say the word carry on I could say keep on but I'm trying to use words from the lesson okay so you don't have to turn off the television you can carry on watching it all right seven uh, if you don't do enough exercise you mm, we'll say put on okay remember when we said lose weight the opposite of that is put on okay so you put on weight finally eight i can't follow this dash for a chocolate cake it's too complicated this one's pretty simple we'll say recipe okay i can't follow this recipe like we said a set of instructions to make a certain food type so i can't follow this recipe for a chocolate cake it's too complicated okay so that was exercise D that was the first page of the reading section you guys now let's move on uh, let's move on all right so now let's go to exercise a second page here reviewing vocabulary let's take a look here we have which is the odd one out and why okay so here we have four words and we're gonna have to find the odd one out and explain our answer okay so let me give you an example. Here we have apples, potatoes, lemons, and oranges. What is the odd one out, the one that is different from the rest? So in this case, we'll say potatoes. Why? Because potatoes, you know, they're not a fruit, okay? Apples are fruits, okay, are fruit. Lemons are fruits, and oranges are fruits. However, potatoes or potatoes, uh, a potato is a vegetable, right? It's not a fruit. Okay, two, meat, juice, tea, and coffee. Okay, so we'll say meat is the odd one out. Why? Well, simply because meat is not a drink. Three, chocolate, pasta, cake, and sweets. We'll say pasta in this one. Why? Because it doesn't have as much sugar as chocolate, cake, or sweets. Right, four ice cream, butter, cheese, and rice. This one's a little tricky. We'll say that rice is the odd one out. Why? Because all of these are dairy products except for rice. Okay, so rice is not a dairy product. Five, uh, here we have potatoes, eggs, crisps, and chips. Okay, we'll say eggs. Okay, uh, eggs is the odd one out. Why? Well because it's not connected to potatoes. So here we have potatoes itself, then we have crisps that come from potatoes, and chips that also come from potatoes. However, eggs are their own thing, okay? They don't come from potatoes. Six, we have um, carrots, peas, cabbage, and chicken. We'll say chicken is the odd one out, simply because chicken is obviously not a vegetable, okay? All of these are vegetables except for chicken, okay? Pretty simple exercise, let's move on. Here we have exercise B, activating ideas. You're going to read an article about healthy eating. Read the title opposite, which of these sentences will be in the text. Tick one or more and explain your answers. All right, let's take a look. So we're gonna, let's read this. Actually, you know what, I think, I think we should read the whole thing and then continue with the rest of the exercises, okay? So, the do's and don'ts of healthy eating. Eat breakfast. 
Even if you're not very hungry, eat something. Have a piece of bread or fruit. Your body slows down at night. It speeds up again when you eat something. If you eat if or if you wait until lunchtime to eat, that is four or five more hours of slow body rate. Eat snacks. If you don't eat anything for several hours, you will eat much more at the next meal. Eat healthy, low-fat snacks between meals. Drink water. Drink at least two glasses of water after your meal. You will feel fuller and not go back for seconds. Think fat. When you want to eat fatty foods, think about three things. Frequency, amount, and type. So frequency, don't eat them so often. Amount, don't eat so much. And type, don't eat uh, saturated fats. And check food labels. Eat a variety of foods. Your body needs more than 40 different nutrients for good health. That means you must eat many different kinds of food each week. Every day, you should eat bread and fruit vegetables, dairy products, meat, or fish. Don't shop when you're hungry. Eat something before you go to the shops. If you don't, you will buy a bar of chocolate or some junk food while uh, while you're there. Don't eat in front of the TV. Firstly, you will enjoy your meal better. Secondly, you will take longer to eat it, and that is good for your body. Thirdly, you will not eat as much. Don't give up foods. If you like a particular food a lot, carry on eating it. Reduce the portions or the number of times you eat the food each week. Don't starve. Starving makes you fat. It is strange but true. Well, almost. If you don't eat for long periods of time, you may put on weight. On the one hand, while you're starving, your body slows down and stores fat. On the other hand, when you eat again, you will eat more than normal. Don't drink and eat. Don't drink anything while you are eating. Any liquid encourages you to swallow before you have finished finished chewing. If you don't drink, you will chew more and enjoy the food more. Right. So that was... uh, What was this? (laughs) That was the article. Okay. Now let's go to exercise B. Let's take a look here. Here we have... You're going... Oh, already did that. Read the time. Which of these sentences will be in the text? Okay, so based on the text, which of these are in the text? Tick one or more. Okay, let's take a look. So don't drink anything while you're eating. Obviously, this is true. It is mentioned in the article. Two, I had a good meal in a restaurant last week. That was not mentioned, so I'll just keep that. I'm not going to tick it. I love eating burger and chips. Nope. Again, didn't see that at all. Four, I will try to eat in a more healthy way in in future or in the future. Again, I didn't see it at all. You must eat many different kinds of food uh, each week. Yes, that is true. It was written in the article. You should eat fruit every day. Again, that is true. Okay, so don't drink anything while you're eating. You must eat many different kinds of food each week, and you should eat fruit every day. Okay? Now, let's move on. We have C, understanding a text. Read the text opposite. Did that already. Find a good answer for each question. Okay, so here we have some questions, and we're going to try and find the best answer that fits each one. Okay? Let's take a look here. We have, why should you eat breakfast? Um, okay. Mm, we'll say because it will wake up your body as the article said that your body slows down when you go to bed so when you wake up you know you want to change that slow movement rate of your body basically or functioning that slow functioning rate and eat something okay two why should you eat snacks okay uh, we'll say because it will reduce your intake at the next meal Three, why should you drink water? Hmm, we'll say, uh, we'll say because it will fill up your stomach. Yeah, that makes the most sense, yeah. Because it will fill up your stomach. Four, why should you eat a variety of foods? Hmm, 
Okay, we'll say because you must meet all the needs of your body. This one makes sense. Why should you eat a variety of foods? Because you must meet all the ends of your body, or all the needs, sorry. Five, what, or why shouldn't you shop when you are hungry? Uh, we'll say because you may, yeah, because you may buy sweets then. Okay. Why shouldn't you eat in front of the TV? Uh, we'll say because we'll say because you may eat too fast, right? So six, why shouldn't you eat in front of the TV? Because you may eat too fast. Why shouldn't you starve? Because it actually leads to fatness, okay? And why shouldn't you drink while you're eating? Because it helps you to eat food very quickly, okay? So because it helps you to eat food, yeah. Okay, so I'll, I'll uh, read them again one more time quickly and then we'll move on. So why should you eat breakfast? Because it'll wake up your body. Why should you eat snacks? Because it will reduce your intake at the next meal. Why should you drink water? Because it will fill up your stomach. Why should you eat a variety of foods? Because you must, meal all the, uh, you must meet all the needs of your body. Why shouldn't you shop when you're hungry? Because you may buy sweets then. Why shouldn't you eat in front of the TV? Because you may eat too fast. Why shouldn't you starve? Because it actually leads to fatness. And why shouldn't you drink while you're eating? Because it helps you to eat food very quickly. Okay, now let's move on to exercise D. Showing comprehension with uh, conditional sentences. You can complete each of these conditional sentences with information from the text. Read the if clause in each case and complete the sentence in a logical way. All right, so we're going to complete these sentences in a logical way from the text. Okay, so here we have one. If you eat healthy snacks, uh, we let's actually go here. Let's go to the snacks section right here. If you don't eat any, uh, you will. So eat healthy. Okay, so for example, if you eat healthy snacks, to complete this in a logical way, we'll say you won't be so hungry. Or we could also say you will not be uh you will not eat so much at the next meal. Okay? Two, if you don't eat breakfast, um if you don't eat breakfast, I think it was something about your body slowing down. Yeah, slow body rate, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'll say if you don't eat breakfast your body will slow down, okay? Three, if you drink water after your meal, I know this one, we'll say you will stay full or simply not be hungry. If you shop when you're hungry, uh, I think it was right here actually, hold on. Uh, if you don't, you'll buy a bar of chocolate while you're there, okay? So we'll say you'll buy the wrong kind of food, okay? Uh, five, if you eat a variety of foods, mm, I think we'll just say you will be more healthy. That makes sense. Yeah, it's pretty simple. Six, if you don't eat in front of the TV, we'll say you will enjoy your food more. Seven, if you don't eat for a long time, we'll say you may put on weight or your body will slow down and put on fat. Eight, if you don't drink with your food, uh, we'll say you will chew for longer. Okay, I'll just keep it at that. So pretty simple exercise. Now let's go to the vocab box. Here we have dairy products, full, give up, liquid, low fat, piece, snack, and swallow. Okay, exercise E reading and reacting are you going to follow any do any of the advice in the text obviously this is going to be up to you me personally no all of the things said here has uh, you know all the information here has been debunked okay i think that's the right word here so i don't agree with any of the stuff that's written here but hey you do you so let me know about uh, the advice are you going to follow it or not and yeah that's the second part. Now let's move on. All right, you guys. Now let's move on to exercise A, reviewing vocab again. So in this course, uh, let me actually open this here. In this course, you have learned to recognize words quickly. What is the full word in each case? The words are not connected with food. Okay, so none of these words that we're going to complete are connected with food. So what is the full word in each case? And we might have to answer 
multiple words here. So let's take a look. Um, we have ACC. Okay, so well, we could say the word accurate, okay? And we could also say something like accept, for example. So I already have the ACC. I'll just write EPT, okay? Or I could say accommodation. So I already have the ACC, so I'll just write O M M O D A T I O N, okay? So something like uh, so accurate, accept, and accommodation, okay? Let me take a look. Accommodation. All right, perfect. Two, actually, let me go here. Two will be, I have AFF, so I'll say the word uh, affect, okay? Or the word uh, afford, right? Be able to buy something, afford. Okay, three, uh, comms, I'll say, I could you say the word combination, okay? I'll just use one combination. Four, con, uh, I could say contribute. I don't already have the T, sorry about that. Contribute, okay? I think I can do one more, so I'll say the word contain, okay? So contribute and the word contain. Five, dem, hmm. I could say the word demographic, right? Uh, actually, sorry about that. There's already an M here, so demographic, like so. And I could also say demonstrate, so uh, demonstrate, yeah, okay? So demographic and demonstrate. Six, we have EST, so I'll say estimate, okay? Again, I keep messing up here, so estimate. Seven, inf. <laughs> That's interesting. Uh, actually, I have some here, so I'll say influence. Okay, so the word influence. What else do we have? Mm, I could say information. Mation. Okay. I could also say something like inform, simply orm, so inform. So three, influence, information, and inform. Eight, we have prin. Oh, this one's pretty simple. I can say principle, okay? Uh, I, also, I can also say print, so just add a T here, okay? Nine. Uh, requue. Interesting. I can say requirement. Okay. I think yeah, that's it. I'll only say one here. And sit. I have sit. Okay, so I can say the word situated. Maybe. Yeah, it works. Okay. So situated is the word. Okay. So one more time. One. We have accurate, accept, and accommodation. Two. Effect and afford. Three combination, four, contribute and contain, five, demographic and demonstrate, six, estimate, seven, influence, information and inform, eight, principle and print, nine, requirement, and ten, situated. Okay? Pretty interesting exercise. Now let's go to exercise B, predicting information. So in this course you have learned to predict information in a text. Study the extracts on the right what will the full text be about? Okay, so we're not going to read the full text here. We're just going to read these. Uh, okay, so let's take a look. Here we have the hidden dangers in food. Have you stopped putting salt on your chips and sugar in your tea? Have you given up fatty foods like butter? Unfortunately, you will find these items are in most processed foods on supermarket shelves. But you have to look carefully. Salt. Salt is found in most processed foods because it is addictive and it makes people want to eat more. Then we have table one giving us the recommended daily salt intake for different age groups. Fat. The human body needs a small amount of fat every day, but too much can harm your health. 
Then we have table two giving us the recommended daily fat intake for different age groups. Sugar. Sugar is found in high quantities in processed foods. Even savory items like spaghetti. Okay, table three shows us the recommended daily calorie intake for different age groups for both males and females because it differs a little bit. All right, now let's go back to exercise B. So study the extracts and write, well, what will the full text be about? All right, so based on what I just read, I'll say that the extract is going to be basically hidden salt, sugar, and fat in our food, okay? And how too much of these nutrients can be dangerous, okay? Uh, two, what advice will the text give about salt? Okay, so like we said, uh, the text says not to eat too much salt, okay? So there's a lot of hidden salt in some food, for example, sausages, salami, sliced meat, ready meat, you get the idea, okay? Fatty foods, okay, well, uh, the text says to not eat too many fatty foods because too much fat can be dangerous. See, we have labels on supermarket foods. Hmm, interesting. Okay, uh, actually, I might have to read this. Let me check just to be sure. Um, so long I think we're good. I'm putting foods... Okay, okay. I'm going to read this later if I need it, but for now I think we're good with the one here. So we have labels on supermarket foods. We'll say check labels to find things like salt, fat, calories, and other nutrients. Okay? Uh, okay, D, calories. Okay, for calories, it said, you know, to... Okay, we're definitely going to read this one, so I'm going to read this and then we'll go back. So salt. Salt is very important for health. The brain needs salt for messages to the hands and feet. The heart needs salt to work correctly. If people do not have enough salt, they sometimes die. Salt is also useful for preserving food or keeping it fresh. In the past, salt was the main way to preserve meat. But nowadays, we do not need salt for this purpose. There are other ways of preserving food, like freezing, drying, and canning. However, salt can also be very dangerous for young children and old people. If people have too much salt, they can develop high blood pressure. People with high blood pressure often have a heart attack or a stroke. Around 300,000 people in Britain die of heart attacks and strokes every year. According to recent research, most people eat too much salt every day. In 2001, people in Britain consumed 9.5 grams of salt each day, or each day, sorry. Nowadays, the average person in Britain eats 8.6 grams of salt each day, but the figure is still too high. People only need about 6 grams, or a teaspoon. What is the answer? Well, first, stop putting salt in your food. Secondly, don't buy ready meals from supermarkets. Processed food contains a lot of salt. Okay. I'm just going to take a quick look here. All right, now let's go back. Let's go over this B2 exercise one more time. So we'll start with salt. What advice will the text give about? For that, we'll say not to eat too much salt, okay, because there is a lot of hidden salt in some foods, okay, like sausages, salami, ready meals, okay, and processed foods. B, we have fatty foods. Uh, the text said, obviously, again, don't eat too many fatty foods because too much fat can be dangerous. C, labels on supermarket foods. Well, the text says that we should check labels to find, you know, salt, calories, fat, and other uh, micronutrients. Okay. Uh, D, D, calories. Okay, for calories... Uh, what advice will the text give? Alright, so based on the table as well down here, it seems that it tells us to reduce our calories after the age of 18. Well, you have, you're going to have to check how many calories you eat each day if you are overweight, but it is important to not obsess over calories. Alright. Uh, e, home-cooked food. We'll say home-cooked food is obviously better, that is the advice given to us in the text, than processed supermarket food. 
F uh, sugars like fructose and sucrose. We'll say these are all sugars and too much of these can be bad for you as well. G recommended intakes. Well the text tells us that we should try not to eat more than your recommended intake of salt, fat, and other nutrients. Okay? I think that's it for exercise B. Now let's go to exercise Z C dealing with new words. In this course, you have learned to deal with new words. Study the highlighted words, so the ones in yellow, you guys. So which, what part of speech is each word and guess the meaning from context? Okay, let's take a look here. Okay, so again, this, this, will, be, this will depend on you as a student, but I'll give you my ideas. So we, here we have the word give up. So have you given up fatty foods? Well, give given up or give up here simply means to stop doing something, okay? Usually a habit that you've been doing for a while, you know, something like smoking, putting salt on your popcorn before eating it, okay? And then we have, you'll find these items are in most the words processed foods, okay? So the word processed here means food that has, you know, chemicals added to it, okay, in a food factory like sausages, for example. Well, by the way, you should know that the chemicals here make the food last longer or <laughs> simply look more attractive. Okay, let's go to salt. Here we have the word addictive. Salt is found in most processed foods because it is addictive. The word addictive here means it is something that you can't stop eating or taking, okay? And then we have the word harm. The human body needs a small amount of fat every day, but too much can harm your health. Harm simply means bad for your health. Pretty straightforward. Sugar is found in high quantities in processed foods, even savory items like spaghetti. Savory, it's the exact opposite of sweet, okay? So sweet, the exact opposite is called savory, okay? It's an adjective. All right, pretty simple stuff. Now let's go to exercise D, reading tables. In this course, you have learned to read tables. Yes, we did. Find and explain each of these numbers from the tables. Right, so for table A, we have two. Um, so I think table A, we, we have the letter, to, or sorry, number two. Okay, it represents grams. So we'll simply say that this is the recommended daily intake of salt in grams, okay, for children aged 1 to 3 years. Okay, B, 70F, okay, where is it? Right here, table 2. So we'll say that this is the recommended daily fat intake in grams for female adults. Okay, and finally C, here we have 2,110. Uh, and it's actually right here for females. So again, we'll say this is the recommended daily calorie intake for females aged 15 to 18 years old, right here, okay? And I think that's it. Now let's move on. Um, let's go to the vocab box. Here we have addictive, blood pressure, calorie, danger, fatty, heart attack, home cooked, processed, ready meal, recommended, salt, stroke, and sugars. Okay, how many more do we got? We got E, F, and G. All right, let's take a look. Recognizing parts of speech. Okay, uh, let, let this open. So study the first sentence of the text below and find two nouns, I'm guessing what text, uh, oh, the one that we read. Okay, so we already read it, but we're gonna have to find two nouns. So study. Let's find two nouns, you guys. All right. I want you to pause the video and read the whole thing and try to do this exercise on your own and come back and check your answers. So I want to find two nouns. I'm gonna find them quickly. Uh, I'm gonna take salt. Okay, salt is a noun, so I'll say salt. Okay. Uh, very important. And health. I'll say health as well. So two nouns, salt and health. Okay, I want one verb. Let me take a look. Oh, is, pretty standard, okay? So is is a verb. I want one adjective. 
okay I'll use the word important okay pretty simple so far okay like so one preposition okay pretty interesting uh, I'll say four right here four as well so I'll say four okay and finally e one adverb salt is very I'll use the word very very is an adverb okay so two nouns salt health one verb is one adjective important one preposition for one adverb very two study the second sentence in the text and find okay so the second sentence I'm guessing here uh, find the subject wow okay well obviously the subject is gonna be the brain so we'll say sorry about that the brain uh, the verb um, we'll say needs okay so needs is the verb <coughs> excuse me and the object we'll say obviously the object is salt okay so the subject the brain the verb needs and the object is salt okay pretty simple now let's move on we have F recognizing information in a text read the text and find two pieces of advice okay um, two past facts and two statements of frequency All right we're gonna have to go back here but since we already read it I'm just gonna go over it one more time quickly so for advice well I think it was something about not putting too much salt on your food so it, it was hmm we do not mm, do, 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 do. this is useful for reserving can be for too much high blood pressure okay there we go so advice stop putting salt on your food okay and don't buy ready meals from supermarkets okay now uh, what else do we want we want two past facts okay two past facts we'll say I think I saw it up top here it was something about salt being the main way to preserve meat I think we have it right here yes salting salting okay sorry about that salting was the main way to preserve meat that is a past fact and also uh, I think one was down here right yes there it is so in 2001 people in Britain consumed 9.5 grams of salt each day okay what else do we need two statements of frequency okay mm, we'll say statements of frequency will say if people do not have enough salt they sometimes die okay right here by the way if people do not have enough salt they sometimes die we'll also say that mm, people with high blood pressure often have a heart attack or a stroke All right. so statements of frequency these two Right. anything else what else do we have G recognizing extra information okay find the extra information in each case why is salt important we have the first one done for health Two. why does the brain need salt well uh, I know this one already so I'll say for messages to the hands and feet why does the heart need salt We'll simply say to work correctly. I can't write it here, so you guys will have to rewind the video if you want to write this down. Four, what happens if people do not have enough salt? We'll say, uh, based on what I just saw here, we'll, we'll say they sometimes die. Okay, five, what other ways of preserving food are there? And I already saw some of them here. Uh, we have like we have freezing drying and canning okay who can salt be dangerous for I think I have it right here uh, who can salt be dangerous for we'll say young children and old people okay what happens if people have too much salt pretty simple we'll say they can develop high blood pressure okay and finally how much is six grams of salt that is a teaspoon if you guys remember okay six uh, six grams is a teaspoon give or take 
All right, so I think that's it. Now let's move on, you guys. All right, you guys, so now let's go to exercise A, final part of the reading section here. Uh, here we have reviewing vocabulary. Uh, what word or phrase do you expect to follow each word or phrase below? So what we're going to do is we're going to continue with, you know, what you expect, right? The next word for, for example, a piece of or a bar of or a glass of, okay? So this will be up to you, so I'll give you some ideas. A piece of, we could say uh, a piece of bread, right? We could also say um, a piece of cheese, and we could also say a piece of meat, okay? Two, a bar of, uh, this one's pretty simple, we'll say chocolate, okay? Three, uh, we could say a glass of water. We could also say a glass of juice. Saturated, okay, so this one's pretty simple, saturated fats. It's a type of fat. Five, low fat, uh, we'll say snack. Oh, sorry about that. Snack. Low fat snack. Six, fatty. Uh, we'll say fatty foods. Junk. Again, junk food. Eight, eat between, we'll say meals. Nine, reduce, we'll say the portion. As you can see, this is all related to food in some way or another because the topic is about food and meals. Okay? Ten, store. Um, we'll say fat. Okay, store mean uh, store means as in to keep. Okay, keep away for a while. All right, now let's move on to exercise B, activating ideas. <clears throat> Excuse me. You're going to read the text below. It is about healthy eating. Okay, so let's take a look here. Look at the heading and the subheading. What will the main idea of this article be? Let's take a look. Plan for your life. Don't live for your plan. All right, so um, look at the heading and seven. What will the main idea be? I'm guessing that the main idea here is that you should make a food plan that's practical for you. Okay, I'm gonna read the whole thing and then we'll come back. So the problems. Is this your problem? You wanna eat health or you wanna eat in a healthy way? You plan to eat in a healthy way, then something goes wrong. You forget to go shopping and when you go to the fridge, the only thing there is peanut butter or you make yourself a healthy sandwich for lunch and all your friends go to the burger bar well you can't say no can you it's rude or you say to yourself today I'm not going to eat anything until 6 p.m. you get home at 3 p.m. and you're starving you decide to have a quick snack then peanut butter sandwiches again or you plan a healthy meal but it's a complicated recipe. It's going to take hours to prepare, but you are really looking forward to doing it. Then you get an extra assignment from college and there just isn't time. What else is in the fridge? You are a complete failure, aren't you? The solutions. You can change your life to match your eating plan. It won't work. You must make an eating plan that actually works for you and your lifestyle. Firstly, how can you eat healthy snacks if you don't buy them? Go to the shops regularly and buy fruit and vegetables for a quick meal. Secondly, why must meals with friends be unhealthy meals? You shouldn't use them as an excuse for bad eating habits. In most restaurants nowadays, you can have a healthy choice. You don't have to fill up on burgers and chips. Thirdly, when do you actually get hungry? If you're starving at 3 p.m., you must have a healthy snack then. Fourthly, how long do you really have to prepare meals? If you only have 10 minutes during the week, plan to have 10 minute meals. Finally, remember that you are not a failure because you have one unhealthy meal every now and then. If you end up eating peanut butter sandwiches once a month, well, you're only human. Okay, pretty interesting read. Now let's go back to B2. Look at the two section headings. Which heading will each sentence or phrase below be under? All right, so let's take a look at these. So are these headings a problem or a solution based on the text that we just read, you guys? Let's take a look. So we have A, go to the shops regularly. This to me seems like a solution, okay? You get home at 3 p.m. and you're starving. Looks like a problem, okay? Plan to have 10-minute meals. Again, S, that is a solution. 
you're planning something. You are a complete failure, aren't you? Okay, this looks like a problem. Oh, sorry about that. P. You must make an eating plan. This is a solution. You plan a healthy meal, but it's a complicated recipe. Again, as, oh, sorry about that. That's a problem. Okay. Uh, I think that's it. Yeah, that is it for this part. Now let's go to exercise C, understanding the text. Read the text below and complete table one. All right, so we already read it. Let's take a look now. So the problems and the solutions for each set problem. So the first problem we have is no healthy things in the fridge, All right? What is the solution here? Well, the solution is to go shopping regularly and buy healthy things. Two, go with friends or, or to burger bar. Um, we'll say that burger bars actually have a healthy choice. You are hungry at 3 p.m. Okay, we'll say have a healthy snack, right? Only makes sense. Four, you have a complicated recipe. Well, in that case, just plan 10 minute meals. Five, straight up failure. Okay, for this, we'll just say unhealthy meals are okay now and then. It's fine, you're only human. Okay, that's it. Now let's move on. Uh, let's take a look at the vocab box. Here we have Burger Bar, basically a fast food restaurant. Complicated, forget, look forward to doing, plan, prepare, sandwich or sandwich, starving, unhealthy. Okay, can I open this? I can, okay. Pretty interesting space here. Exercise D using a key skill. What does each pronoun and adverb below refer to? Okay, so the word then in line three. Let's take a look. So one, two, um, I'm guessing this then right here. So for this, uh, is this your problem? You want to eat in a healthy way? You plan to eat in a healthy way? Then something goes wrong. So then here, I think simply means after the plan, okay? So we'll say after preparing the plan, we'll say after the plan. Let me write this in capital actually. So after the plan, okay? So you wanna eat in a healthy way, you set up and then, so after the plan, okay? There, line five. So you forgot to go shopping and when you go to the fridge, the only thing there. Well, there here means something that's in the fridge, okay? We're talking about the fridge here. So we'll say in the fridge, okay? Then line eight, okay, let's take a look. You make yourself a healthy sandwich for lunch, then, well then here means basically after making the healthy sandwich. So uh, how are we gonna phrase this? We'll say something like after making a healthy sandwich, okay? It, line 10, okay, no, can you? It's rude. It here means basically saying no or refusing to go out with friends. So we'll say uh, it here, um, how was I gonna say it? I'll, we'll just say saying no, okay? Then line 14, I think it's right here maybe? Yeah, this one. So then peanut butter sandwiches, again, you decide to have a quick snack, then here it means uh, at 3 p.m., right? Because you get home at 3 p.m. and you're starving, you decide to have a quick snack, then boom, peanut butter sandwiches again. So then here means at three, uh, do I write this? Yep, yeah, three, zero, zero. PM. Okay. It line 17. Okay. Right here. You plan a healthy meal, but it's a complicated recipe. Well, it here refers to the meal itself. So we'll just say the meal. It again, line 24. You can't change your life to match your eating plan. It won't work. Well, it here is basically talking about changing your life to match your eating plan. So we'll write that again, but we'll say um, here it says changing your life to match 
your eating plan. Okay? Eight them, line 28. Firstly, how can you eat healthy snacks if you don't buy them? Buy them, uh, or sorry about that, them. Here, we're talking about healthy snacks, okay? So, them, uh, we'll say healthy snacks. Nine, them, line 31. Secondly, why must meals with friends be unhealthy meals? You shouldn't use them, okay? them here again we're talking about meals but with friends so we'll say meals with friends and finally then line 36 uh, right here thirdly when you do, when do you actually get hungry if you're starving at 3 p.m you must have a healthy snack then then here means at 3 p.m or when you're hungry so we'll say when you're hungry okay so that was exercise D. Now let's move on. Uh, yeah, we did this. So reading and reacting. I'll just, this is going to be up to you. I'll ask you this question once. So are you going to follow any of the advice in the text? Up to you, but I certainly will. Yeah, I think that planning your meals and planning your food is a good way to stay in shape and have satisfying meals without feeling you know, guilty right after. Okay, so I think this is it. Yeah, this is it. So this was reading you guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.